welcome guys back to my channel my name is gladwell kozak in today's video i am going to be doing um cleaning um decluttering and organizing my cutlery um drawers and i will also be organizing my a few of my spices jars and i will also be putting away uh some of my sauces which they were on the display in the counter uh, on the shelves and I will be putting them away, arranging them nicely so they are not visible but they will be still um, easily accessible in the drawers. So join me. So I'll be, uh, after I clean the drawers, I'll be cleaning all the cutlery, everything that was in the cutlery organizers and everything that I have a duplicate of the same, I uh, will be um, rather decluttering rather than keeping two, main, two or three things of the same thing, I will just be uh, recycling. So. Um, that will make my life a little bit more easier, even um, in the kitchen. For me personally, I am finding that um, even as I go organizing and decluttering my drawers and um, my cupboards in the kitchen, I'm finding that it's making my life and my family's life as well much simpler and easier. And yeah, everybody is happier when the house and you know where you can be able to easily access things. So this is a good advice I would give to anybody who is looking for ways how to minimize or organize or declutter things, not only in the kitchen, but um, around the house. At the moment, I am just doing um, the kitchen uh, little by little. I am tackling each drawer um, one at a time rather than doing a massive um whole change overnight so uh, this is also a good tip that way you are not giving yourself so much to do all at once
as part of my daily routine i tend to clean all the high uh, touch surface areas so that even when i am doing the weekend cleanup and all that kind of stuff i do not find myself doing so much of cleaning as if um uh, the place hasn't been tackled in a long while yeah but once in a while i do um end up doing a deep clean which takes m maybe uh, a little bit longer because that means i have to wash the, s the oven i have to remove everything that is inside and scrub the things but i try as much as possible to clean up um on the go rather than waiting for uh, grease and dirt to accumulate over time so uh, that is also another good tip and advice as you go along that yeah cleaning should be a good daily habit rather than waiting to make um, everything get really greasy and dirty and dusty um, so uh, that is a helpful way of doing things at least for me And now I am cleaning the fridge. Uh, if you'd like to see a um, video on me doing the organizing and cleaning my fridge, uh, I would leave a link below. Uh, I did one of these video, um, a cleaning, a fridge uh, cleaning and organizing video uh, where I'm showing you how to. Um, organize with some shop bought organizers which i find now very helpful for me and to be able to put things and be able to easily access things in the drawers especially where uh, the things are stuck so far away and you have to reach out with your hands uh, to dig deep into the fridge um, yeah if you'll watch that video you'll find it quite helpful um, I hope the bread tin as well as the microwave and the toasters they are usually um, kitchen equipments that accumulate a lot of grease and breadcrumbs and uh, it's always a good idea to uh, thoroughly clean them once you use but with a bread uh, tin and the toaster at least once a week to empty the the tin and the toaster and really give them uh, a thorough wipe down and just remove the crumbs so that uh, it doesn't burn your toast for example with the toaster having too much um, fallen crumbs at the bottom So now I am putting away all my spoons, my forks, 
my um, tea spoons um, and the knives and those other extra cutlery that um, I use on a daily basis. I'm putting back in the drawers, organizing them nice and neatly. And I am also putting away all my other kitchen uh, equipment that I use, uh, the scissors for cutting um, things, the hand blender, all these things that I tend to use um, every other day. Uh, I'm organizing it back neatly and I have gotten a read of um, one third of all the things that I do not need and uh, that is something I would advise you to take up so that your drawers are looking nice. I also managed to buy some uh, 10 hooks from Amazon which I screwed onto the cupboard and I can be able to put 10 cups. I got some extra uh, jars which I have transferred some of my spices and I have managed to arrange nicely my shelving as well and put away some things. These containers are stacked up containers so they are good uh, to be stuck together and as I said with the cutlery uh, they are all nicely uh, arranged and put away as the other drawers for the other extras that I use um, daily or every other day and as I said if you are thinking of uh, organizing and decluttering your kitchen it's something that you can do slowly by slowly I also did organize and put away all my sauces which I they are nearer the cooker rather than right on the other side of the kitchen and now my kitchen is clean and ready to start another week uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, do remember to leave a comment and uh, and you're welcome to subscribe and um, hopefully we are going to see you next time. Thank you for watching.